and even though he did everything right, he ended up sticking his finger with a needle during surgery. And now I just cannot stop thinking about everything that Stone went through before he died. I've already been here long enough, so you should get some sleep. You can change the subject all you want, but Dr. Scorpio is in love with you. And from what I can see, it goes both ways. My personal life is not your business, April. Chill out. Why can't you just be in love and be glad for what you got? I'm not in love with Robin. Oh, sure. Okay, if I was in love with Robin, which I'm not, I don't do long-term relationships. Well, if I infected you with HIV, long-term won't be a problem, you know what I'm saying? Okay. HIV definitely complicates things. I used to ride Robin all the time that she's hiding behind, and now I know what she's up against. Are you afraid you'll catch it from her? No. The opposite. I could still test positive. The HIV strand that I have could be a different strain and it could seriously compromise Robin's immune system. And she could end up like me. You do. I'm the definition of what not to do. If you think you have AIDS, I didn't get tested. I did everything to avoid it. And when I found out I was sick, it was too late to even use the drugs, even if I could afford them. Now I'm in stage, and I probably won't make it to Christmas. You might. Some of your numbers have improved. I'm toast, Doc. Let's face it. I'm like Robin, who has done everything right. Great medical care, all that good, clean living. But there are no guarantees. She can end up right where I'm at. And where are you going to be? Be uh, by your side? Somewhere way on down the road. AIDS. It's a scary business. No one can blame you if you can't deal. I'm a doctor. I can deal. It's different when you're in love with someone. I didn't say anything about love. You did. I obviously would never let Robin get to where you are. I wouldn't desert her. Because of obligation. Pity. Because she's Robin. And I care about her. Does she know that? My fear for Patrick is mostly irrational. He's on a drug protocol now that didn't even exist when Stone got sick. He's tested negative for HIV once, and of course he has to be tested again in another six months, but his prognosis is excellent. But all that aside, the look in his eyes, the fear, it's just like Stone. Have you told Patrick then? Well, he knows that my first love died of AIDS, and it's kind of insensitive of me to keep bringing it up. Yeah. But I have to say, I really admire the way he's dealing with the situation. No complaining, no feeling sorry for himself. He's grateful for the meds. He deals with the side effects. I mean, he's basically the same brilliant surgeon he's always been, just slightly less obnoxious. As long as he's not obnoxious to you, I'm all right. You know I mean? <laughs> well, that's been the biggest revelation of all. When the going got tough... Patrick turned out to be noble and principled. He's actually over at the hospital right now because Miss Sneed decided once again that April must be transferred to county. Tonight? I guess she figured that because of the blackout nobody would notice, but Patrick's going to try and outmaneuver her. It's just the odds are against him. April Gilbert doesn't have insurance and Miss Sneed is relentless. I hope Patrick tests negative again, but if he doesn't... At least he has you as an example of how to live with HIV. you got a great life. Stone never had that. And he wouldn't want you to waste it. Maybe, maybe, uh, Stone is with us after all. I just, 
I move in the air. I will call the press. I will call every age group in the phone book. Have them picking outside his hospital. And I will be filing charges for patient harassment and abuse. I'm simply doing my job. So it's your job that those sick people in the street? County Hospital is hardly the street. We'll see how that plays on the news, especially when I sue you. <laughs> you can pay your hospital bill. You certainly can't pay a lawyer. We have already gone far beyond what it's required for emergency care, and it is standard procedure that we transfer patients to county. Is there a problem? Miss Sneed? Yes. Is there a problem with the treatment that you give my friend April? How you doing? I'm fine. You doing fine? I'm hanging in. You know, I let this thing go a while back with Sam McCall where you cut off the hospital blood supply to her. I mean, she survived, but I see things and it concerns me. Do you, are you familiar with the term connected, Miss Sneed? I asked you a question. Um, I don't know if you heard. Yeah, yes. Yes. Then you understand that my friend April is connected. And that anybody who upsets her or causes her any distress in turn is causing themselves distress. Now, I'm not threatening her because I don't, I don't threaten women. I'm just letting you know what's going on and that accidents happen, tragic accidents. And a hospital is a tough place to work when all the doctors hate you. Isn't that right, April? Yeah, absolutely right. Now, I, I donated money to the Stone Cates AIDS wing, and I expect all the AIDS patients to be treated with kindness, dignity, and respect. Well, the AIDS wing provides outpatient services. Yeah, yeah, well, I know that, but see, unfortunately, she's, she's been in a bad accident. Do you understand what I'm saying? And, you know, she deserves the same respect. Well, Miss Gilbert has no health insurance. Well, if you had been doing your job, Miss Sneed, you would know that the bill should have been coming to me, and that doesn't make me feel very good. This, you know, this hospital is is going to hear from me. Do you understand what I'm saying? It's very troubling. I'll make a notation in Miss Gilbert's file. Hey, apologize first. I apologize. Not to me. I apologize if I upset you or distressed you or showed you any lack of consideration or any lack of respect. Okay, Miss Sneed. All my friends have, have names. April, I'm sorry. Why are you doing this? But thank you. You just consider this a gift from a, a friend you never met. Who is that? Stone Cates. Hey. I didn't expect to see you again tonight, but I'm in. How's April? She's the reason I'm here. Oh, God. Is she dead? She's fine. She told me to tell you. Tell me what? She told me to tell you that you matter. And you have from the start. What I feel for you, I've never felt for another woman in my entire life. And, it, and I think maybe in time, there's a chance that I might love you.